you guys walk through this home styler tutorial, specifically my kitchen. So this is the kitchen model that I'm doing from the ground up. We're building a custom house. So this is kind of my dream kitchen before the architect kills those dreams and tell me I either can't afford any of those things or it's just not possible. But we know we're dreaming first. So here's what I have so far. Basically, this is kind of once you log in and create an account and start creating the home structure or just the room, you can do one or the other or both, which is what I've done. But right now, you can kind of see, let me move around. You can see that I've created sort of the entire first floor. Um, I even have like a little person <laughs> that represents my husband because he's six feet tall. So I like to use it as a visual guy to make sure that things aren't too low for him. Um, anyway, so we're just going to focus on the kitchen for right now. And I'm going to show you guys what you can do with Home Styler. And it, let's say you're shopping online and you're finding different items that you are falling in love with, but you're not too sure if it's going to fit into your decor or if it's going to fit into your space and you don't want to invest in purchase. And then by the time you get it to the house, it just doesn't work. And so Home Styler is a great tool for that. So for this instance, um, I do have these three bar stools that I saw online. We're just going to leave them here for now. What I'm noticing is that I am not entirely in love with these open shelves. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the spacing. Maybe it's because of the color. So I'm going to just play around with it and show you guys what I do. So right now they're in this wood material that matches the cabinets. So I'm going to change it to see what it would look like in maybe a different color. Maybe if it just... Let's see white. It would probably just blend in too much. Yeah, that's too much. So let's go back to... Let's go. You can go back on the undo tool at the top left. Or you can... If you hit the B letter on your keyboard, uh, you'll see this little icon has changed. So you can go ahead and select other materials uh, that are around your space. Uh, right now, I'm going to select the marble that I have for the counters so that it matches this right here. And I feel like I like that better. Right? That looks pretty good. But let me see what it looks like without this top shelf because I'm not entirely sure I love it. So once you select it, you can either go to the far right, this little drop down menu and click on delete, or you can just use your keyboard and click on delete and it's gone. So I kind of like the way that looks better because it just looks a little bit cleaner. It's a lot more open, but I do lose that upper shelving for storage, which is most likely going to be just a bunch of decor items let's be honest um we don't have a ton of like kitchen stuff so for me this kitchen layout and the amount of storage is pretty good for the two of us or for our family in general um and we also have a pantry in here on the far right um what i'm not able to do for some reason you can see like there's like a weird rectangle frame around the door even though it's an arch door i i wasn't able to get it to match the arch of the door uh, but let's just pretend this is supposed to be an arch door and an arch door frame um, so this actually leads into the pantry which isn't using my fake husband emoji as reference um, it's not massive you can see like let's oh you're too close husband back up uh, you can use this little red arrow at the bottom, which I use pretty often, and it helps you kind of move the object around. So uh, using him as a reference, you can see that it's not a huge pantry. But like I said, we're not, we don't have a ton of kitchen stuff. Like we like to cook, but we're not, you know, fancy chefs and we just don't have an accumulation of things. Um, so I feel like the pantry size was good. And then once you go through, I haven't put any of the shelving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what just happened. 
Let's back up. Okay. Um, anyways, you can kind of see it's act acting a little wonky right now. I'm not sure why. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me save and back out of this. So it's not... Lately, I've noticed that the Homestyler desktop app has been doing this weird thing that you just saw right now. But I've been using it for quite a long time. And this is really just the most recent issue. So once I save, um, you can see it goes back to normal acting right. Um, sometimes I might have to save and quit out of it. So if you ever have that issue, just save, try it again, or save and quit. And then relaunch the app and it should be working fine. Anyways, back to the pantry. You can kind of see that the pantry is not huge. But I haven't added any of the shelving inside. Um, and then if you go down to the bottom left, I can show you what it looks like in plain mode. Plain mode is basically just that overhead layout. Just ignore all the junk on the left. That's just me saving furniture items so it's easier for me to find. Um, this blue icon right here is your camera view. And you can see on the far right corner, uh, you get a little preview of what your camera view is looking at. Um, so here's my husband again. <laughs> Uh, for reference so you know he fits inside the pantry it's technically a walk-in pantry uh, but it's not massive and I haven't put any of the shelvings for you to see as a reference um, but I do have an icon a, of a grocery bag just for personal reference once I start put the shelvings in just to see how much space we actually do have for food and appliances and items. I do plan on having the pantry going for the storage going all the way to the ceiling um, just to make the best use of that space as much as possible. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys real quick sort of the possibilities that you have within the space and within the app itself and why I've made some of the design choices that you're seeing within our kitchen layout. So let's go back to the preview that we have which is Rome. so once you click on Rome, it will take you back to that space that you were in so we're a little bit far from the kitchen now so let's go back over there you can use your mouse too to zoom in i just like to use this icon i don't know if you can see too great but it's a white icon with white arrows that helps you navigate. And then if you hold down the mouse and you move it around, you can rotate your view that way as well. So I use a combination of both to help me navigate through the space. Uh, so we're back to the kitchen and I'm okay with the storage amount that we have, uh, but I do have a lot of knickknacks that I've acquired. Uh, we do live in Japan, so I'm just buying all the things, girl. I'm buying all of the cute decor stuff that I don't actually need that isn't functional, but it makes me happy. And I would like to display them at some point or somewhere in the house. Uh, so that's why I originally had those two top shelves. Let's see if we can get them back quickly. There we go. So that's why I had two top shelves, like open shelves this way, so that it gives me the opportunity to put some decoration in and move some things around as I get bored of looking at them. But it's just feeling a little crowded, feeling like it's probably gonna end up looking really messy. What I can do is test that theory out, like how messy is it gonna look? and just put in some objects just to see what it would look like and how it would feel once it's styled and filled up. So on the left side of the screen, you can see there's like a bunch of icons and tools here. If you hover over them, or if you click on this little tab right here, it opens up. And here's your model library. So if you go to catalog under model library, there's tons of stuff and tons of items. Like it's so overwhelming but also so much fun to look through all of them um, so we're just gonna bypass some of the stuff and let's go to kitchen let's see should we do utensils it's more like decoration instead of utensils um, so i don't know if i want to look at utensils but let's just take a look at them oh there's dining room accessories we can take a look at that so as you can see it's mainly decor stuff now but it's Oh, you got a tea set, you got some art, you got some storage, you got some um, alcohol and 
bar accessories you get shoes for some random reason a toaster so you kind of get the idea like if you can see there's 304 pages of just a bunch of amazing stuff to look through you can filter through some of the stuff too like by color or by brand some of it is in japanese because it's recognizing that my location is in japan but a lot of it will be under generic to be honest most of the items are not branded so i just kind of leave it on all if i'm really looking for something specific like let's say we want something brown or beige or gold then i'll go and filter through the color um so we have some oh well, okay let's play around with this stuff because some of this could be kitchen decor so let's play around with some cutting boards let's see how the cutting boards would look oh this is like a big cutting board okay so i have the cutting board i want to rotate it this is like a really big cutting board so I want to rotate it. Um, see, it's kind of getting a little like too specific for me. So what I can do is just go to the side of the screen on the far right and just type in 90 degrees. And now it's at a 90 degree angle and it's too tall for me. So what I'm going to do is just pretend that it is a normal size cutting board. And then I'm going to go on the same right side of the screen i'm going to adjust the height as you can see here i changed the height so that it's a little bit smaller and shorter so that kind of blends in a little too much for me it's just a little the color of the cutting board matches everything else in the room a little much for me so what i can do is replace that item and you can see through the model library tab, it'll give you suggestions or you can go to my tab. Here's what they have for the suggestions. Or you can go to my tab and this is where all of the items that you've found um, and have saved. So they save your favorite items under this my tab. So I have saved this bowl of fruit that I can use. Um, I can also filter out what category it's under. So this little tab on the right corner, you can see here are all my categories. So I have art and decor, I have um, animals, I have people, doors, kitchen items. So here's all the kitchen items that I've saved. And then I have um, art and decor. Here's the kitchen items that I have saved. So we got roll kitchens, you got kitchen items, you got baskets, we got a cake. Ooh, let's see what the cake looks like. You got this knife set, which is pretty realistic to what I would have on my counter next to the stove. Just leave this knife set in there because that feels realistic. And then let's go back to catalog. And I'm looking for something specific now. So I don't want to search through 334 pages. Let's look for a vase or a vase or a vessel, whatever you want to call it. All right. So this is a little bit along the lines of what I'm looking for as decor on the top. Except these have flowers. So we're just going to scroll through all the stuff that has flowers. And this is why. So it's not really going to work because it's going to blend into the wall. This one's kind of cool. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, so you see at the bottom right of the screen, I don't know if you can see it's highlighted in blue. It's like an outline of the object. That just lets you know that the object is there, but it's behind something. Um, sometimes when you click on objects here, just pay attention. If you don't see it right away, it's probably on the floor. Um, because the item they're assuming was intended to be on the floor, but we don't want it on the floor. We want it on a shelf. So as you can see, I use this blue arrow to make the object go up and down. And then this green arrow makes the object go left and right. The red arrow, which is a little bit hard to see right now, but it's right there, makes it go in or out depending on your perspective. So I want it flush against the wall and I want it up on the shelf because I want to see how messy this is going to end up looking. So let's add that there for now. And then what I can do to just speed up the process is click on the object and click on duplicate. 
And there it is again. It's on the floor. I don't know why. That's a little, it's a little annoying to work through all that. But it works, right? And this is free, so I'm not mad about it. Okay, so we're going to place these objects next to each other. And this doesn't feel realistic, right? Because I'm not going to have two of the same objects next to each other like this. So I'm going to just use one and replace. And then we're going to go back to the model library to just get some more objects. Da, da, da. I'm not really feeling any of this. Oh, let's do books. I feel like books is pretty realistic to what we would have on a kitchen counter. Oh, this one's nice because this one has a book and a bowl. Let's try this one. Okay, so this one, for some reason, is a lot bigger than the vessel itself. But that's okay. So let's move this over to this corner. I feel like that looks a little bit better. So I haven't put a whole lot of objects and it's already feeling crowded. <laughs> it's not giving me that sort of minimalistic japan -D vibe. Um, it's not really giving me clean counter look. It's just kind of looking already a little bit too busy and messy. Um, which there's nothing wrong. I'm all for, personally, I do like maximalism depending on the area. Like I like it by my front entrance for some reason. I have a ton of objects and pictures and frames and art and all that stuff. But I feel like for my kitchen, I kind of just want it to look as clean as possible because realistically speaking, you're going to have a bunch of stuff already, right? Everywhere. Um, because you know, whose kitchen is clean all the time unless they're not actually doing any cooking. Um, so I think what I would like is to just minimize the clutter as much as possible since I already know we're going to have a bunch of stuff everywhere. So as much as I want this open shelf, I think it would just look better without it. And this kitchen is not, um, the roof itself isn't super high. Um, so I feel like it makes it feel a little bit better and more airy in here without that top shelf because the ceilings in this room is not super high. Um, so I think that looks better. I think it looks a little cleaner. Well, I guess, I guess for now we're not going to have a top shelf. Um, but that means that we can maybe splurge a little bit and put this shelf right here that I currently have have it um, as marble to match the backsplash um, and just make it feel a little bit more luxurious um, but still give us the space to put some objects up here it's just not going to be you know double layered so yeah so that's kind of how i walk through the process of making decisions design decisions and decor decisions did use this kitchen as an example but I'm going to show other videos and make other tutorials of different rooms in the house. Like for instance, we have this living area and I'm just not entirely sure about the couch. I don't know if I want a gigantic couch like this or if I want two couches. So that's something I'm going to play with next. And then um, I also have been talking to an architect to see if we can open up the space by having the um, ceiling be open just in this area where the living room would be. Um, so what I can quickly show you guys if we go back to plain, plain mode, ignore all that stuff. And then if you highlight the uh, room area right here where we're looking at, you can see on the far right, it says ceiling, and then it says whether to show the ceiling or not. So if we get rid of that, you can kind of see like it opens up that entire space. The only issue right now is that because I haven't created it, I originally designed the layout. If we go back to this mode, you can see I originally designed the layout as one large area. So Homestyler's not entirely smart enough to know I only want it in this space to have the ceiling be open. 
um, I would have to create a room out of that and then get rid of the ceiling. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do all of that in another tutorial video. But for right now, I just wanted to give you a quick sneak peek on the possibilities within Homestyler and to take a look at your space in a new way without, you know, turning to an architect and paying them just to show you what it would look like to have an open ceiling within your living room area. You can play around with your your home styler app and use the dimensions that you already have of your space and then play around to see what it would look like before you make that very costly decision of getting rid of a roof in an area. So that's an example of something a little bit more drastic and a lot more helpful um, as a means to using this home styler app. And then if it's just a day-to-day -day stuff and you can't knock out a ceiling and you can't knock out a wall, it's still super helpful and really fun to use so that you can kind of play around with your space without physically moving things around or without committing to a purchase before you know, okay, this is really, this really goes with my space. This color works with my area. This, you know, furniture is the right size and all of that stuff because you are building based on the dimensions of your space. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any specific inquiries on tutorial or anything in specific that you would like me to walk through i'm happy to do that i feel like i've become pretty familiar with this app and um yeah i feel pretty good about it it's also so much fun uh, i can literally be here for hours so yeah let me know in the comment section or send me a dm if you'd like anything specific if you want to send me pictures of your space what dimensions i'm happy to kind of build it out for you and then we can walk through some of the decor um, options that you might have that would be super fun but yeah i hope this helps and let me know thanks again thanks for watching